Hello and welcome to the kitchen table of Fusta 2005. Today we're going to be uh, doing an overview, a one week overview of the Apple Watch 4 and comparing it to the first gen. So, uh, at, you know, as I, before I begin, I want to show you the difference between the two boxes. Uh, as, as we've seen before, this is the, uh, this is the fourth gen box. And we've already gone through that, uh, so we know it's what's inside already. This, this is the first gen. And just for comparison, uh, this is the first gen right on this side, and uh, this is the, the fourth gen. Um, but this is the this is the fourth gen box, and uh, you know just to kind of go over a little bit. Of what's inside, I think this one was a lot more premium when it first came out. I think they were they were trying to uh, get everybody on board. They've kind of uh, they've kind of cut back on cost with these. There's there's absolutely uh, this is the same box for both the stainless steel series as well as the Amazon or <laughs> the uh, aluminum one. The uh, the stainless steel version for the Apple Watch stainless, uh, you know, stainless steel version of the uh, Apple Watch first gen had the plastic box, which was a lot more premium. Uh, and then you would just open it up, and it came with the watch on here. Um, the watch sat in these little grooves here. And that was pretty much it for the, the box in there. Um, you know, as you can see, it came with the, the cord and stuff inside that. But uh, yeah, the, the manual was a lot, a lot bigger. Uh, you actually, it actually came with uh, a, a separate um, watch band. That's uh, this one's shorter than the. Uh, the long one here so you could choose between the two of them so they did a really good job with that um, but yeah I mean I'm kind of disappointed in the the new boxes I mean it, they look cool but uh, I really I really was uh, a lot more excited when the the um, stainless steel version of this one came out so we'll put everything back in the box, and it was it was a nice box. It's a sturdy box. You know, if you kept it out, you wanted to keep your watch in here. If you wanted to, I I never have, but at least there was the option to. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss that. Uh, my first gen Apple Watch did a lot for me. Um, it, it's been a great watch. hasn't I haven't really had a lot of problems. I mean, the only the only big difference between between uh, the first gen and the fourth gen is the fact that the battery life is a whole lot a whole lot better um, this one towards the end uh, this is the first gen towards the end it had uh, it would only get about a day's worth of battery life I, I don't remember what it was the first the first time I got it out of the box I think it was probably probably close to two days maybe a day and a half but uh, you know, it never was really that great, and that's kind of why they came out with the Apple Watch. I think one uh, after that, short few months later, um, and improved the battery life. It, it never really uh, completely improved until the fourth gen, which uh, I just charged it this morning, and it's still at 100% actually. Uh, I have it on my watch here. Um, but yeah, it, it's about, from what the testing that I've done with it, just from normal use to, of how I've always used my Apple Watch, which, you know, uh, I'll go jogging, I'll, I'll check things on it, I'll, I'll use commands and Siri and all that good stuff, and, and uh, it, it uh, only drops down 20% per 24 hours, so, um, I'm guessing... I haven't really, I haven't fully pulled it down to 
you know, dead, zero percent. Uh, but I'm guessing that would last three and a half, uh, maybe four days, depending on, on how, how much you use it. Uh, like I said, it only goes down 20% a day for me for, for 24 hours, so, uh, you know, it, it, I've got it down to 20% and it's been three days. So, I mean, you're, you're looking at three and a half, maybe four days if you really stretch it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing for me. A lot, uh, something I noticed uh, software-wise is that it's uh, this uh, the Apple Watch 4 is a whole lot faster um, for for example I can ask Siri um, what is the weather outside and it just sits there and says I'll tap you when I'm ready this is the first gen All of a sudden it comes up, or yeah, I can take the fourth gen here. What? Uh, let me unlock it here. What is the weather outside? Interesting question, Josh. <laughs> of course, I know it doesn't work. What is the weather outside? What is the weather outside? It doesn't look so nice today. Down to six degrees. So it's really fa it's faster when it understands you. Of course, Siri has her uh, her problems anyway. So uh, yeah. Um, so everything is a lot faster. I can get into programs a lot faster. Things will come up. Um, I can go into my smart home stuff. It's it's a lot faster. It works just like my phone. Whereas on the uh, first gen, I don't have, I didn't set this up. I actually unpaired this and then uh, set it back up as a new watch so I would know the difference uh, when I'm trying to unpair this again after this video. But uh, everything is a whole lot faster uh, screen wise. I think, I think there's actually, I don't know if there was a coding on the, the first gen, but I did notice that. Uh, the first gen is a lot more the has a lot more fingerprints on it even even after cleaning it and touching it again um, I can't turn it off uh, so this this the the fourth gen has a lot more um, doesn't doesn't attract as many fingerprints as of this time I don't know what it will do um, later on down the road, I did have this one since it came out, so that was like 2015, so almost four years I've had this, uh, this watch. Yeah, almost, almost four years. Three and a half, I think, so, but uh, I fully expect to keep the Apple Watch 4 until they don't um, support it anymore. That's kind of what I did with the, the first gen. I never really got on board with getting a new Apple Watch each and every generation. I don't think that's, uh, that's needed as long as they give you the software updates. Yeah, it'll get um, slower over time. Of course, they're going to update the, the hardware each year. But uh, with Apple, it's pretty incremental. Um, I just stuck with the first gen until they, they said we're not supporting it anymore and that's uh, when I got the Apple Watch 4. So as far as the screen goes, we can, we can check it out here. Best way to do that is to, to look at it on, with the flashlight. Turn the flashlight on here, and, and you know two millimeters isn't that much of a difference, but but you can see this is all squared uh, on the first gen, and it's not uh, you know it doesn't seem as bright. I don't know if the camera can can catch that, but it's not quite as bright. This one 
pretty much edge to edge obviously after the the glass curves they don't have the screen there but uh, two millimeters doesn't seem like much but uh, it is let's see if I can get them pretty even there as you can see it's it's you know significant enough that you notice it um, the, the overall casing size did not change at all uh, the same strap I've, I had this strap on the the first gen this is actually the sports band that came with the first gen in the box uh, I just put it on so I could hold it but I have this velcro strap and it, it, it worked uh, there's no no overlap it's not too small or anything um, but yeah that's that's pretty much the screen size the best way to look at it is is with something that fills the whole screen uh, but as you can see I kinda have the same similar um, watch faces on it and uh, you can you can tell it's quite a bit bigger I I don't really like the the new ones they came out with um, I kinda I'm, I'm pretty old school so I like the the analog analog sticks on it with the uh, with the numbers so there's that but uh, you know overall that's pretty much all I got for the software side of things as I said the screen seems to be a lot more fingerprint resistant on the Apple Watch 4 uh, as well as um, the side button here obviously with the Apple Watch 4 it has the tap the the haptic feedback I think is what they call it uh, the first gen didn't have that but uh, it obviously it had some um, analog response um, the long side buttons that you use for the the power buttons I don't know if you can you can see it's kind of hard to show with a stainless steel black uh, I like uh, I obviously like the black because it doesn't show uh, scratches or or uh, you know wear and tear as much and actually the stainless steel version is very durable I didn't have any problem uh, I think I have one nick that I can't one little nick on here that I can't really find I have to really look for it but that's after you know banging it into walls and all sorts of stuff and I you know never really re left my wrist unless I was charging it or I was taking a shower which was when I would charge it actually so um, but yeah there's there's the, the bigger stay uh, the bigger uh, button here it actually has um, the uh, the microphone moved from on, on the first generation the the microphone was on the opposite side of the of the buttons and this time it's over over here so you know what however you wear it uh, either if it's on your right or left wrist if you bring it up to your mouth it, it, it hears you a lot better I think I may have been um, blocking the microphone when I was trying to use Siri er earlier um, but the, the speakers are, are a whole lot louder um, I can I can understand people talking on the phone I don't use my watch too often to, to use the phone um, but the buttons are, are a lot better on the Apple Watch 4 as I mentioned uh, you couldn't see it but the first generation the the power button uh, sticks out quite a bit uh, I never really had a problem with it catching on anything but uh, on the on the fourth generation it's uh, pretty pretty flush you can hardly tell it's there I uh, just kinda have to guess if it's in the dark you kinda have to guess where it is um, the reverse side has changed this is the first gen here um, obviously it was the same for the, the Apple Watch 1, 2, and 3 for the four, fourth gen Apple Watch they changed the sensors and uh, obviously it hasn't come out yet I might do another video uh, kind of overviewing the the heart, uh, um, the ECG is what they call it, uh, the heart rate monitor, and uh, we'll we'll see how that works. Um, I imagine that it'll uh, it'll create a lot more hypochondriacs, as they say. Uh, people worried about their heart. I know that I get worried about my heart if I can start to feel it. So. Um, 
yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, I really, I really like the Apple Watch 4th Gen. Um, it's a lot easier to use to, uh, even, even the buttons to do your, um, and the passcode are a lot easier to, to hit. It's, uh, you know, I have, I have pretty small, uh, fingers anyway. It helps me play the guitar, but, uh, you know, it's a lot easier for me to, to hit the buttons. And, uh, but that'll be different for everybody. Everybody has their different opinion. I, obviously, I got the, as you probably noticed, I got the uh, LTE version. And that's because the stainless steel only comes in LTE. You do not need to, to get a LTE service if you do not want it. It'll work just like it did previously uh, with your phone. Uh, the only, only difference would be is, is using it away from your phone, which I, I'm hardly ever away from my phone. It's always in my pocket. Um, I guess if you wanted to lessen the weight of a jog or something, you, you might want to look into getting an LTE service for your for your Apple Watch. It's I think it's like 20, uh, 10, 10 to 20 dollars for the device. Um, but yeah, that's my overview of the uh, Apple Watch 4 as as it compares to the Apple Watch first generation. If you're still using an Apple Watch first generation, I would highly recommend going to this uh, updated version specifically because it's been completely redesigned and upgraded. It's not an incremental upgrade. Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you have any, guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, like or dislike if, if you'd like to do that on this video. Um, also, I will link to the description below the unboxing of the Apple Watch 4. Uh, it's, it's pretty short and sweet, so uh, check that out if you guys want to. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one.